Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapts Looks and it's monthly macro challenge time. We've got to take a look at some of the entries for October, uh, lots of spooky images there. We got to pick a winner and of course we've got a new challenge and new prizes for November. So stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter November's challenge and potentially win some prizes as well. For now, I'm going to jump over to the computer and take a look at some of the entries for October. So here we are on the Adaptalux Facebook community page and on our pinned post, our challenge uh, was spooky for the month of October, obviously because it's Halloween uh, and we've got lots and lots of really spooky images um, submitted for this month's challenge. Thank you to everybody that uh, took the time to um, take some spooky images and submit them uh, into the challenge. Unfortunately, we don't have all the time in the world to go through them today, uh, but we do have some notable mentions to take a look at and of course we've got a winner and a runner-up uh, so I'm going to uh, start off with Frank's image here of uh spooky spider fangs um see these are tarantula fangs and this is a, an incredibly close image um almost certainly photo stacked uh really really nice lighting um i'd be really interested to know how you lit this frank um getting this amount of light onto such a small area is uh, quite challenging um so do let us know how you lit this um and if you've got a setup shot that would be fantastic to see as well Next up, we've got JM's image here of uh, Steve. A uh, <laughs> very fun little um, model of a skeleton. Uh, with all of this smoke here, I'd be interested to know whether or not this is um, blowing across the actual scene or whether this is photoshopped in. Um, but quite a little whimsical, spooky image there for Halloween. Uh, I particularly love the pose, so uh, fantastic job, JM. Louise has been playing around with some UV fungi, so this is a really interesting shot uh, with all of these mushrooms glowing in strange greens and blues um, and snail slime as well. It does look a little bit like a, a ectoplasm on a strange alien world or um, perhaps uh, something that the spectres have left behind, so really fantastic job getting some spooky uh, colours out of your mushrooms. Um, great to see some UV on the uh, challenges as well. Very well done, Louise. From Steve the skeleton to uh, Stephen the spider expert, uh, taking a picture of, um, I think this is probably a little jumping spider, um, hiding inside is his web inside some barbed wire. This is a huge piece of barbed wire here, so you can really tell the scale of this tiny little spider and his web. And as uh, Anne has put it here, um, so creepy cute. Uh, and I think that has hit the nail on the head. Uh, yes, spiders are very creepy, but a little bit of cutesy in there as well can't hurt. Um, so very well done, Stephen. Really nice little spider shot there. Right balance between creepy and cuteness. So uh, very well done. For our runner-up this month, we've got Rich's little graveyard scene here made out of Lego, um, which uh, everybody should know by now. I'm a bit of a sucker for a Lego scene, but this has not won just because it's Lego. Uh, it's a very um, technically well done sh scene as well. Uh, you've got the blue light coming in and some nice white light to light the front of um, the, the characters' faces. And we've got all of this smoke as well, which I'm presuming was a practical effect. So all of this put together is uh, quite challenging to pull off and uh, you really pulled it off rich so well done uh, we've even got a few alternative uh, scenes here she's not looking quite as scared as i would be uh, hanging out in the graveyard but um really cool little shots very well done rich you're our runner-up winner Finally, our winner for this month is Phil's Spooky Demon Eyes. Uh, this was the very first entry onto the competition and it really set us off on the right course for um, getting some creepy, spooky images. Uh, these two little holes in the shell backlits really do look like... Um, uh, demon eyes or uh, the face of a sea monster or something like that really creepy and spooky from um, a subject that we weren't expecting to see in uh, this theme so uh, very well done Phil you are our winner for this month and you've got yourself uh, some uh, photography deck playing cards so once again, thank you to everybody that entered October's Spooky Challenge and uh, well done to our winners. We'll be in touch very shortly to get your prizes out to you. So November is a new month, which means we need a new theme. The theme for November is going to be 
autumn leaves. So you can go outside and find some leaves falling off the trees uh, or some brand new leaves. We just want to see macro and close-up images of leaves. So uh, make sure to head over to the Adapt Lux Photography Community Group and post your images on that uh, pinned post at the top of the group to be entered into November's challenge. With a new theme, we have some new prizes. Uh, the first prize for this month is going to be one of our brand new macro subject holders, which is really cool with these uh, flexible arms and little crocodile clips on the end there. You can use this to hold all of your macro subjects in place while you photograph them. Uh, and it can be used to hold uh, background gradient cards as well. So speaking of background gradient cards, that's our runner up prize for November's challenge. Head over to the Adaptlux Facebook group, which is linked down below uh, and submit your images for a chance to win. November's challenge is going to run from today, the 1st of November, all the way through to Sunday, the 28th of December, when we'll lock the comments on the post uh, so that we've got a couple of days to take a look at all of the entries and uh, pick a winner ready for another video just like this one on the 1st of December. I'm really looking forward to what you guys can do with autumnal leaves this month. Um, make sure to get up close and personal with your leaves. I don't want to see pictures of trees or forests just because they've got leaves in them. Uh, it is a macro and close-up competition after all, so get up close and let's see some detail out of those leaves. Um, I'll link to a couple of uh, tutorials here if you need a bit of uh, inspiration on what you can do with your leaves. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, because we'll be back here in a month's time to take a look at the winner. That is all that I've got time for for now though guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.